Hey, Mr. Bird here. This is the Canon assembly video. I'm going to show you how to assemble your Chem Canon. When you get your kit and you open it all up, you'll notice that a couple of the pieces that you'll need are actually inside the canisters. And so you'll want to take those out. And the first piece we're going to need is the uh, piezoelectric igniter, which has the yellow wire attached to it. Some have a little red wire at the end. Some will be all yellow. It doesn't make any difference uh, which of those you get. And so what we're going to want to do then is we're going to thread this starting through this hole right here, down through the bottom, and pulling it out that way. And then we're going to thread it up through this second hole so it goes up to the top of the cannon. And you just kind of want to hold it close to the wood and just push it in there, just like that, push it in. And then once it comes up to the top, you can pull that out. And so that's the first step. The cannon should look like that. Okay, for step two, you want to take your small red wire and take the end that has the most bare copper exposed. And we're going to thread that through the same hole. And I hold on to this wire so that it doesn't push it back down in there. And then just easily ease it down through the hole. And it'll come back out the bottom and then you can pull it out this way. And then we're going to want to take that and thread it back up through the same hole. So that you have the two wires coming out both, both ends. And we want this red wire just to cover and meet the larger hole in the base of the cannon here. So it should look just like this. And then I'll take any excess and pull it back up through to the top. So that those bottom wires look nice and snug like that. All right, the next step, and this is probably the toughest uh, step and it will really require an adult to do this, is you're gonna want this wire covering that hole and I'm gonna take the piezoelectric igniter and push it down into the hole with the wire. And that wire needs to contact this metal to complete the circuit so that you'll get a spark. And then also as you push it down there, it's pretty snug and that will uh, keep the, the igniter in there nice and tight. And the best way to do this is take your wheel and take the flat part and push down with that wheel and then you can use the base of your hand and really push it down in there. It's going to spark at first or, or click and then just keep pushing after that initial click and you can put it down in there. And it's also helpful to turn this just a little so that this large piece of plastic that's, that protrudes out the front doesn't smash the red wire. So once you get it in there, it's really nice and snug and that'll stay in there and you'll be able to use your cannon. And then you can see we have some excess yellow wire we can push that down through the bottom and pull it up through at the top. So then our wires are nice and tight at the bottom. We've got this in here nice and snug with the wires touching the base. And that completes our circuit. And if you test it out, you won't be able to see on the video, but you can see a spark already. The next step, we're going to take one of your two lids. You have two. Ones can just be an extra if you need it, uh, if this one begins to wear out. And this small top hole, we're going to feed both wires through that hole, just like that. And then we want to hold this tight against the wood. And then the easiest way, you could use pliers, but I'm going to grab both of these wires with my hand and just twist them around tight. So then you can just leave a gap, uh, kind of like that, so that you can get a good spark and just try it out. You'll be able to see a spark. You can't see it on the video because it's pretty small. There you go. And then the next step is to attach the lid to the wood using this silver screw. Uh, you can use pliers or if you have a wrench or a, a little tool like this, it'll be really helpful um, to attach this, but you just put it in there. It's already pre-drilled and just tighten it up. You want to make this pretty tight 
it'll help the cannon to fire better. Um, so now we're almost done. Um, we've got all of our ignition ready to go. Then the last step then is just to put the wheels on. And again, we can use the same tool, pliers or a wrench if you have that. And you can put these on really tight if you want. If you want them to spin, the best way is to tighten them down and then just back that off until they spin. So that's really tight, it won't spin, so I'm gonna just take it back just a little. And then your wheels can spin, and depending on how much you want them to spin, you can loosen it up. Same thing on the other side. And there you have it. Your cannon's all assembled and ready to go. Now that we have our cannon assembled, it's time to fire. Now what we want to do is get a good fuel and air mixture. So we don't want to get it too close or it'll be all panaka and all fuel in there. So you hold it about six inches away and shoot one squirt right into the canister and then put it right onto your cannon quickly and then you're ready to fire and we'll just strike the igniter and fire. And sometimes you do have to click this a few times. I think it's to allow the fuel and air to mix in there just right and then it'll fire off. If you do have trouble getting your cannon to fire, a couple things. You want to check that you're getting a nice spark. You may have to move the wires a little closer together or a little bit farther apart to get a nice good sized spark. If you're getting a good spark, then usually the problem is too much fuel. And so you want to back off and shoot a little bit less fuel in the canister so there's more air in there. It also helps, I found, to dry the canister out, especially if you fired it a few times. You can get some fuel residue in there. And so I'd clean that out and then squirt it again and you should be ready to go. Hope you have lots of fun with the Kim Cannon. I'm Mr. Bird.